One A. Listening. A. Discuss. Have you ever been on a guided city tour? A city tour is when you go visiting places and landmarks around the city. Guided means you do that with a guide. A guide is someone like this woman who takes people, tourists, and show them around, show them important places in a city, and gives them information. If yes, did you like it? If not, would you like to go on one someday? Well, to tell you the truth, no, I have never been on a guided city tour, but I'd love to do that one day. I think with a guide, I can visit the most important landmarks, the most important sites in a city and get some useful information. Doing this with a guide is a lot better than doing that all by myself. I wouldn't know where to go. Now, you will hear a tour guide, someone like this woman, whose job is to take people around the city. Taking tourists, these people are tourists. Tourists are people who travel for pleasure. On a tour of London, listen and take the places he mentions. Which places did these tourists visit? And then you will write T for true and F for false. Let's read the statements before we listen to the recording. 1. Big Ben is the name of the clock tower at the Houses of Parliament. Clock tower. A tower is a very tall, high building with a clock. Now, without listening to the recording, we know by reading this question that the tour guide took the tourists to Big Ben. There are different opinions about where the name Big Ben comes from. Each flight on the London Eye. What is London Eye? London Eye is a Ferris wheel. This thing is a Ferris wheel and its name is London Eye, the Eye of London. A flight is a ride. When people go on a ride, they call it a flight. Maybe because you fly in the air. Lasts, continues for 30 minutes. Now, we also know that the tour guide took the tourists to the London Eye. The tourists aren't going on the London Eye because the weather isn't appropriate. Maybe it was raining or it was windy. That's the weather. Appropriate isn't good, isn't suitable. The White Tower is the most famous building of the Tower of London. Now, this is the White Tower, and it's a very old building in London. Not this one. This one is modern. This one is very old. Beef eaters. Beef eaters are people. Who are they? You will know about them as you listen to the recording. Aren't allowed? They can't speak to tourists. Now, listen and find out for yourselves. Welcome to our Sights of London tour, which starts here at one of London's most famous landmarks. It was built about 150 years ago, and it is the third largest clock tower in the world. It is situated at the north end of the Houses of Parliament. It's commonly known as Big Ben, but that is really just a nickname for the bell inside the huge clock tower. It is not clear where the name Big Ben comes from. Some say it is after Sir Benjamin Hall who oversaw the rebuilding of the Houses of Parliament, including the installation of the bell. But others say it is named after a famous boxer of the time called Benjamin Caunt. The bell can be heard all across London and it is a popular place for New Year's celebrations. Tours of the tower are possible, however, you have to arrange in advance with a local MP, and children under 11 aren't permitted. This is one of London's newest tourist attractions. The London Eye is the largest Ferris wheel in Europe. With 3 million visitors a year, 
it has become the most popular paid tourist attraction in the UK. And it's easy to see why. It is situated right on the bank of the River Thames, and as it slowly rises above the city, visitors are treated to a breathtaking view of London. During the half hour ride, or flight as it's popularly called, all the sights of London are visible, and on a clear day, you can see about 25 miles into the distance. Unfortunately, this tour doesn't include a flight on the London Eye. Just to let you know, tickets cost £18 per person, but there is a 20% discount if you book in advance online. Needless to say, it's wise to check the weather forecast before you book your tickets to make sure it's a clear day. Now we are approaching one of London's oldest landmarks. People usually identify the Tower of London with the White Tower, which stands in the middle of a whole complex of buildings which make up the Tower of London. The original White Tower was built in 1078 by William the Conqueror. Since it was built, the tower has been a palace for kings and queens. It's been a prison and also a royal zoo. Also, the crown jewels of the United Kingdom have been kept at the tower since 1303 and are only removed for royal ceremonies. The tower has a staff of 35 yeoman warders, or as they are more commonly known, beef eaters. Traditionally, they were guards of the tower, protecting the crown jewels, but today they act as tour guides and are more than welcome to answer any questions you may have. Now go ahead and write T for true, F for false. If you feel that you need to listen to the recording again, then there is no reason why you should continue this video. Go ahead, listen to the recording as many as you like, and then continue if you want to check your answers. Now read with me. Welcome to our Sites of London. Sites, landmarks, most important places to visit. The tour which starts here at one of London's most famous landmarks. It was built about around 150 years ago and it is the third largest clock tower in the world. It is situated it's located, this is its location, at the north end of the Houses of Parliament. It's commonly known, a lot of people know it, as Big Ben. But that's really just a nickname for the bell. That's not the real name of the clock tower. Bell? This is a bell. Inside the huge clock tower. So, Big Ben is not the name of the clock tower, it is actually a nickname for the bell. So the first one is false. It is not clear where the name Big Ben comes from. We are not sure why people call this tower Big Ben. Some say it is after Sir Benjamin Hall. After means it has taken the name of this man, Sir Benjamin Hall. Who was he? This man oversaw. Oversaw is the past of oversee. When you oversee, you supervise. The rebuilding, rebuilding, building again. The houses of parliament, including part of the rebuilding, was the installation. When you install something, you put it and you connect it and make it ready for use of the bell. But others say it is named after a famous boxer of the time, at that time, boxers, athlete, called Benjamin Gaunt. Nobody knows where the name actually came from. There are different opinions. That is correct. The bell can be heard. You can hear it from all across London, anywhere in London. And it is a popular place, popular. A lot of people love it and go there to celebrate. When you celebrate, you gather with friends and you are happy and you have drinks and food. Celebrate, the verb celebration is the noun. Tours of the tower are possible. However, you have to arrange in advance before you go 
on a tour you have to arrange with a local MP, MP, member of parliament. And children under 11 aren't permitted, aren't allowed. They can't enter the clock tower. This is one of London's newest, it's very new, tourist attractions. Places that attract tourists. Places that tourists visit. The London Eye is the largest Ferris wheel in Europe with 3 million visitors a year, every year. It has become the most popular paid tourist attraction. Paid, it's not free. To go on a ride, you have to pay. In the UK. And it's easy to see why. It is situated, located right on the bank, exactly on the bank of the River Thames. This is not Thames or Thames, no, it's Thames. Bank is like coast, but with rivers, we don't say coast, we do that with seas and oceans. With rivers, we say bank, river Thames, and as it slowly rises, while it slowly rises, go up, 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 and up above the city, visitors are treated, are invited to a breathtaking view of London. Breathtaking means you will not be able to breathe. <gasps> you can't breathe. View the way the city looks from above. What we mean here is that the view will not kill you. No, that's not what we mean. We mean that it's so great. It is fascinating. During the half hour ride, ride is when you go on the Ferris wheel. That is a ride. Or flight. You know, people in Britain call it flight, they don't call it ride. As it's popularly called, all the sites of London are visible. You can see different landmarks and sites. And on a clear day, a day that is not foggy or dusty, you can see about 25 miles into the distance. That's how far away you can see. So each flight lasts for 30 minutes, that is correct, half an hour, we said half an hour. Unfortunately, this tour doesn't include a flight. Going on a flight on the London Eye is not part of our tour. Just to let you know, tickets will cost you, cost you the amount of money you pay for something. 18 pounds, pounds is the currency, the money used in the UK, per person, for every person, but there is a 20% discount if you book in advance online, if you arrange for a ride online. Needless to say, we don't really need to say this, you should know this by yourselves, it is wise, it is smart to check the weather forecast, to know if the day is going to be clear or not clear before you book your tickets to make sure it's a clear day. So the tourists aren't going, that is correct, but not because of the weather, because it's not included, doesn't include. You will have to pay more if you want to go on a flight. Now we are approaching, we are getting closer to one of London's oldest landmarks, very old. People usually identify the Tower of London, identify, recognize the Tower of London with the White Tower which stands in the middle of a whole complex of buildings. Complex means consists of different buildings. Look, the building in the middle, the one standing in the middle, is the White Tower of London. But all these buildings are called the Tower of London, okay? The Tower of London is the whole thing, and this is the White Tower. It is standing in the middle. So the White Tower is the most famous building, that is correct. People identify the Tower of London with the White Tower, so it is the most important one, and the most famous one. The original White Tower, the one that was first built in the past, 
In 1078 by William the Conqueror, Conqueror is a leader who wins many victories. Since it was built, the tower has been a palace. A palace is a big house, luxurious house, for kings and queens. Queens, female kings. It's been a prison. A prison is where bad people are sent. Criminals. And also a royal zoo. Zoo, a place where we keep animals. But this one is a royal zoo for kings and queens and princes. Also the crown jewels. Crown jewels, this is a crown. The crown jewels means the crown, the ornaments, and all the jewelry that belong to the royal family of the United Kingdom have been kept, the past of keep, at the tower since 1303, and are only removed, they are only taken from the tower if there was royal ceremony, ceremony, important event. The tower has a staff, staff people who work there, of 35 yeoman warders. These are yeoman warders. Who are they? Or as they are more commonly known, beef eaters. You can call them beef eaters or yeoman warders. But who are they? Traditionally, in the past, they were guards. Guard is someone whose job is to protect someone or something of the tower, protecting the crown jewels. But today, they are not guards. They act, they work as tour guides and are more than welcome to answer any questions you may have. So they are not allowed to speak no. That is incorrect. They are more than welcome to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.